Today's daily dose of math is an example where we will make a bar graph from the data in a frequency table. The data in frequency tables is well suited for being shown with a bar graph. The first thing we have to do is put an x-axis and a y-axis. And we have to label and scale these. Since the highest frequency I have is 7, if I scale my y-axis so that the numbers go up to 10, I know all of the data will fit. And I need a label as well for that axis, and I'm going to call it frequency. For the x-axis, I need to show all of the possibilities. The possible results of rolling two dice are 2 through 12. So I make a space for each of them on my x-axis. And I need a label. I'm going to call it roll result. You can see that the labels we use as headings for our columns in the table are quite useful to reuse as labels for our axes. Now I'm going to put my data in. I place the bars so that they are separated by spaces. That is part of the structure of a bar graph. You can see that for a result of two on the dice, the frequency was two, so the bar goes up to two on the y-axis. This makes the data easy to read for all the different roll results. Notice how there were no results of 10 or 12 when we rolled the dice this time. So there are no bars for 10 or 12, but I still label 10 and 12 on the axis because it was possible to get results. The only thing that's missing here is a title. I'm going to call this bar graph rolling to dice. Now our bar graph is complete. This has been an example of using the data in a frequency table to make a bar graph. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.